Fast 7 News on your side at 11 starts now. We begin with a breaking news alert. The breaking news we're following right now as we come on the air at 11 o'clock is out of Philadelphia. That's where two police officers have been shot at a 4th of July celebration. Now, you're looking at a live picture right now of the area. It is cleared out right now. There is a very strong police presence there. We're told this ha happened right near the end of the fireworks show. Those officers are stable at the hospital tonight. Right now, it's unclear what led up to this, and people are being told to avoid the area. 7 News will bring you an update as soon as we get one. This comes on the heels of a deadly shooting at a 4th of July celebration outside of Chicago. We'll have an update on that in just a few minutes. All right, now for a check on your forecast, because it was a beautiful day out there for the 4th of July, and we are on a weather alert because tomorrow we're tracking the potential for some severe storms, heavy rain, strong winds as well. Yeah, you can see that line right there on the radar, and that might not be our only weather alert day this week. So on WhatsApp and Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly joining us now. And Bill, when will all this start? So you guys, we're looking at tomorrow afternoon, literally after 12 p.m., probably in that 2 p.m. through 10 p.m. time frame. High winds, heavy rain, those are going to be our biggest impact uh, features of the storms. Hail is going to be uh, something we're monitoring. We're also monitoring the tornado risk. It's low, but we'll monitor it for sure. We're in the slight risk category, meaning a two out of five. That's a